Hey guys, welcome back. You join us today in Chiba. Chiba is a beautiful spot just across the bay from Tokyo. Uh, so we're camping right next to the ocean here and the cicadas are going off. You can totally tell that it's uh, summertime here in Japan. Hopefully you can actually even hear us over these like, cicadas. So our campsite here is right next to the ocean. It's really, really beautiful and we're always super surprised by how nice the facilities are in Japan at campsites. In true Japanese style, we had a warm welcome from not only the bus driver <laughs> who helped us check into the campsite, um, but also the campsite owner. So the campground that we are camping at is called Daibusa Misaki Campground. It's on a small peninsula in the southern area of Chiba, and we were incredibly surprised by how beautiful this area of Japan is. It costs 650 yen for one night, or about 6 US dollars, and for that you also have access to hot showers. They're just average concrete ones, but they get the job done. We're going to go on a quick little adventure around the place, and see what there is, and we'll take you guys along with us. We found this path leading from the campground, and we're really, really hoping that it leads us down to a beach that we saw from the campground. He is hoping. I don't think it does. <laughs> Okay, so this is the first beach we have arrived to. Our campsite is just up here. And we just had to walk just down here to get to this beautiful area. dinner time and our cooking process is this. We always bring our little one burner stove with gas and cook pretty simple things, particularly compared to the other Japanese campers who usually go all out and have awesome meals just like if they were at home. At this campsite there was an area where you could make a fire and grill your food, but I think it's always safe to bring your own cooking equipment. Like other campgrounds we've stayed at, there was also an area to do washing up which always makes that chore a little easier. And this is the realities of camping. <laughs> it started to rain, so we came undercover. The campground gives you this bag and then 
you can discard your rubbish with it. You've just got to separate it first. So we've got cans, pet bottles, oh, lid off. This is a pretty nice feature because at other campsites we've stayed at, you just need to pack out your rubbish. Yeah, on air, chucked up. Hi. <laughs> Little smelly, <laughs> but that's okay. And then where do you? Oh, in here. Yeah, that's likely. Yeah, yeah, got me. So we have packed up camp and are ready to move on. Before going home, though. We'll be stopping in at a really scenic mountain area called Nokok in the Yana. Everybody, so right now we are at Nokogiri Mountain, mm. Nokogiri Mountain, and there's some really cool tourist attractions, like just like right on the peak of the mountain. So to get up the mountain, you can either hike about 40 minutes, or you can catch a ropeway. So, I mean, we had planned to hike, but it's super hot and humid today, so we just kind of took the lazier option and <laughs> took the ropeway up instead. Either way that you do it, we would. 100% recommend it. Gosh, it's so beautiful. So we've got um, this kind of like jagged outlooking rock behind us, which is called um, Jikoku Nozuki, which is basically translated into a peep into hell. Basically, it's just mm -hmm. like a very scary looking cliff face. Very cool. And just beneath that uh, is a big religious figure. Um, a Buddhist figure, I believe. It's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have to look into that, and then we'll put some more information on it. But <laughs> we're so after, cultured. <laughs> after this, we're going to go and see an actual Buddha. There's a very big Buddha mm. statue, and that will be very cool. Mm. And essentially, this area used to be a quarry, which is why there's just like sheer drops. They're actually man-made, but it creates for an amazing viewpoint and something cool to look at. Mm. Very glad. We had a lot of fun in Chiba, but at the end we were pretty wiped out. We had a nice quiet ferry ride back to Tokyo and a long nap on the train ride home. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.